first. In the corner to my left, from Denver, Pennsylvania, by way of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in tonight at 165 pounds, she is Mama Pog, the This thing on, we ready to rock and roll? All right, it's happening. Beyond Ladies and gentlemen, no, no, no. On the play-by-play, play, play, guys. Are you really? Yes. All right, go for it. Beyond wrestling, we are here in our opening contest for somebody's farewell, probably. I am Paul Crockett, joined by MJF, who thought he was doing play-by-play. -play. Yeah, I'm, I'm real confused. I figured I'm the guy who clearly knows the moves. I'm the, oh my god! Well, what's the name of that move? Uh, it's called a bitch slap. Oh! Couple of slaps, and we're off hot and heavy here, just like it is in the building. We got two, and Viper. two beautiful, thick women about to get it on in the middle of this ring, and I am about it. Yeah, look at them going after it already. And they both build up a head of steam and take each other out. And it wasn't even announced that Viper was here tonight. She had a, Lufisto had a mystery opponent, and out came Viper. Yeah, absolutely, out came Viper. Uh, incredibly talented female wrestler. Actually, it was in the Mae Young Classic. Yes. Uh, which, uh, by the way, very impressive showing she had in the Mae Young Classic, as I do recall. Didn't she get all the way to round? Third round. Third, third, third round, round. Yes. She defeated Santana Garrett and Serena D before falling to Tony Storm. Not a bad resume. Well, we gotta see what's going on here. A little bit of hard or hardcore action. And Let's Viper, see that play-by-play. -play. Let me hear it. Viper seated. Lufisto charges and drop kicks her to the ground. That chair did not give out. It is very slippery, very moist in this building. And she just went sliding and fell to the ground. What are you trying to do? You're trying to get me fired? What, what are you trying to do here? It's, uh, very, it's very, very humid in this building. There so we go. Thank you very much. It's going to be very challenging for you athletes to get in there more than it is than usual. You guys well, are going to be very exhausted. Probably for everybody else, not for me. I'm amazing. But yes, right. it is a little slippery and slidey out and here. And now Viper going to return the favor. Oh! I think she hurt herself more than she did Lufisto, but no, Lufisto I don't know. If like you saw, that was a tremendous hip attack. If you saw the hip of Viper went straight into the temple there of Lufisto. Absolutely, and Viper, if you don't know her resume, current ICW Women's Champion, current SWA World Champion in stardom. So she is a very well-traveled veteran at such a young age, starting when she was 16. Yeah, my, my, my thing with these English people is it's like they pop them out, and the second they get out of the womb, they start training in the ring. It's, it's crazy. She's Scottish. Whatever, man. They're all the same to me. As Viper now in clear control they all sound of, this, funny. of this contest cover by referee Stephen Dumang. One of the worst referees in our industry going today. That we can agree with as Viper back in control here. And now she's going to lay it in. Putting those thick thighs on the back of the head. I have no comment on that. But as, as an athlete, as a uh, very well-traveled professional wrestler More than well-traveled. I'm one of the best in the world right now. I'm the youngest and fastest rising star in professional wrestling today. What is your question, good sir? Self-professed, but when you're in a situation like this where you're down and out... I've never I've never been in a situation like this. Uh, okay. Oh, my God. Uh, well, Lufisto just turned things around. She was going to follow it up with something, but much to her joy, Viper fell down in a heap on the floor. But, yeah, I, I've never been in the ring with a competitor... Like Lefisto, I mean, if you look at Lefisto. Lefisto's been in this industry for almost 20 years right. now. It's absolutely insane, an incredible veteran, but also very dangerous. A tremendous striker, tremendous brawler is Lefisto. And now here she goes, charges with the hip attack, and Viper with a face full of pain. Lefisto following up again. Oh! 
Oh! Drop kick to the chest. Well done. If I was in the ring with Lefisto, though, what I would try to do is Lefisto, very strong powerhouse, but not the fastest athlete in right. the Beyond roster. I would try to duck, dodge, evade. Um, try to tire her out, tucker her out, and once she was weak in there, then I would take over. But right now, Viper's kind of just been in Lufisto's warehouse the whole entire time here, has been in Lufisto's brawling world. The wounded owl, clearly in Yeah, what does that mean? Here. Do you know what that means? I don't know, won't you ask her? I, I don't want to talk to her, she's poor. Two count only, as MJF reminds you of what tax bracket you're in. But right now, Lufisto, poor and Canadian. That is that is a rough combo. Lufisto regularly teams with Jordan Grace Ugh. here in Beyond Wrestling as Team Pog and Jordan Grace is going to be in our main event tonight. Every time you say that name, Brian I gag Cage. in my mouth, pal. Well, that's between you two to figure out. As Viper coming back into this match. Oh! And with authority, Rainmaker close line cover. Two count only. And this is, this is gut check time here in this match as both women are probably feeling the effects of the heat. Yeah, if, I can, if I can say anything, if I can wish I can, could explain something to you, Marks, watching this match right now. It is so hot in this building. What happens when you wrestle in a very hot environment, you get tired, you get blown up so much quicker, you find it very hard to gasp for air, your body weakens. Uh, it, it's so difficult to do what we do in, in climates and environments like this. But these girls are going at it still. And these two charging at each other fast and furious and with a lot of authority. Viper following it up with the big splash. No, Lufisto. Still in the game, and that is why she is one of the most well-decorated veterans in the business. I mean, so much heart. I don't agree with it. I think it's dumb. I would have left the ring by now, but so much heart. And now Viper hailing from Scotland, jaw-jacking with the crowd. Instead of keeping her eyes on her opponent, maybe that could come back into play here. Who knows? The things that people like you don't quite understand is when you jaw jack with the crowd, it actually works in your favor. See, what happens is the people around you, they get annoyed, but what happens is it's going to get in your opponent's head. The noise, the booze, the... Oh, my Lord. Cannon ball. Excuse me to cut you off there, MJF. I don't even remember what I was talking about. That was vicious. One more time, she's calling for the crowd to join I didn't her. understand what she was saying. Are you sure she was saying one more time? I do speak It all sounds yes. jumbled to me. Oh, my God. Lufisto charges. And Cannonball! Cannon and gives her a taste of her own medicine. And now she is calling for one more time. But Viper back to her feet. Nice forearm. This is getting... Very, very heat. Oh, Saito suplex. Lefisto right Lefisto back up on her feet. Doesn't feel it at all. Ducks under the clothesline and a Saito suplex of her own. Whoa. And now right back to where we started. Spinning back fist off the ropes. What strength. Wow, Falcon Arrow. And this crowd showing their appreciation, MJF. What a match. And this is what you get with Beyond Wrestling. We are here in East Greenwich, Rhode Island for somebody's farewell. Probably. Hopefully it's not mine. Hopefully it's not yours. Uh, hopefully it is mine. Yeah, I said that with my fingers crossed. As Viper goes up to the top rope, what does she have in mind here? Looking for something big to finish it off. Oh, my Lord. High risk, no reward. La Mahi Straw Cradle. Lufisto got her. 